Derek's continued claim on 64 positioning being fake. So this just came across my feed, but it's pretty much a bunch of gibberish to me. Any developers want to weigh in? Happy Thanksgiving everyone. Celebrate with your families of you celebrate it. Don't spend it like Derek. He's still using that tier 1 engineered thing, as if it has any objective meaning. What's hilarious is, that this is his exact statement, I'm a tier 1 engineer, I deal in absolutes, not semantics so, yet another mutually inconsistent pair of statements from the fake doctor of backpedaling. Excuse me if I scoff at anything, that any engineer over there has to say. What any of those engineers has to say instantly trumps your ravings, Del Boy, because they are actively demonstrating that they are competent. You have never released anything that compares to the extant alpha build. Well, not favorably anyway. The stitching thing is 100% factual and isn't even open to discussion because I'm 100% correct. Therefore, I need no trivialities like evidence. It would be impossible, Snip, for you, Derek. It is impossible for you to build these things. Other people are better than you, and have figured out how to do things that you could never do. Accept it, or don't. See if anyone gives a shit. Star Citizen is doing exactly what Lod is doing. Note that this doesn't necessarily mean that Lodi is also doing everything that Star Citizen is doing. They do not have procedural generated scenes, space, or planets, because the terrain surface area is just a map they generated in the editor, then populated. Except we have seen them procedurally generate terrain, haven't we, Derek? We have seen them generating underlying terrain procedurally, by layering further terrain atop it, showing that the underlying areas are arranging themselves according to an algorithm generated by the uppermost layers. Feel free to let us know when you finally get around to a technical dissection of the in-editor demo from Sitkin. You know, the one in which you were utterly humiliated without anyone ever even mentioning you. Anyone who thinks that this star map of the game's universe is one cohesive whole that isn't stitched is a fool. Bait and switch fallacy is fallacious. Derek is a walking fallacy. A 64-bit world, which Star Citizen simply does not have. If they don't have 64-bit precision, then they are mimicking it so well as to be indistinguishable, which renders your point moot. You don't understand any of what Brian said in that video. I think I need a shower. Edit, saw this in my feed, and, at a glance, thought it was about Derek. Because the terrain surface area is just a map they generated in the editor, then populated. What the hell is he talking about, that's how PG for maps are done. You have a tile set or a set of assets, library, that are the basis of PROC gen to generate from. Torchlight 2, Darkest Dungeon, Swindle, UNITY 3D and UE4 tutorials on YouTube teaches this PG technique. The people who make Substance Designer which SIG uses deals with PROC Gen PBR textures, which I'm learning, are they all wrong too, because SIG is using this technique. So what Derek is saying that all these devs are wrong. His, DS, understanding of PROC Gen is the same as his understanding of what Seamless is. I'm no developer, but I know how to shitpost. Which makes me as qualified as Derek on this subject. I can say with absolute certainty that Derek has no idea what he's talking about. Drive Iggy Will PhD X2.